devotional with you today. This is my youngest, my oldest. Uh, she doesn't really get on too much. She doesn't really care for this stuff. Um, but we want to share with the body of Christ the best we know how. Um, she's quiet but strong in the Lord. My youngest is bold and loud and strong in the Lord. And so is my middle one. So two of them are like me and one of them is like my honey. So <laughs> here we go. Today, January 12th, the fullness of his word. And my devotional is Smith of Littlesworth. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it is time to talk about faith and being strong. Uh, with everything happening and the way that they are trying to silence the things that need to be spoken. The fullness of his word. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Scripture reading is going to be Hebrews 11, 1 through 10. We'll do that last. We may be in a very low ebb of, a, of the tide, but it is good to be in a place where the tide can rise. Everything depends on our being filled with the Holy Spirit. If He can only get us in readiness for His plan to be worked out, it will be wonderful. Everything depends on our believing God. Everything depends on our believing God. What do you believe that God's going to do with everything? What has he told you that he will do? Well, for I, for one, he has told me everything's going to be okay. He said, I am with you. Everything's going to be okay. He told me to only believe. He told me to plead the blood of Jesus over the doorpost. He said, plead the blood over the doorpost. And that's the blood of Jesus. Because we are under that. So I did that. And everything that God has said, do that I've done, I've been blessed. And it's not because of me, but it's because of the Lord. Now, we... Cannot do anything without a living faith. It is truly God himself who comes to us in the person of his beloved son. And by his power, all things are possible for us and God. God purposes that we might be on the earth to manifest his glory. That every time satanic power is confronted, God might be able to say of us as he did to Job. What do you think about him? See Job 1 and 8. The joy of the Lord can be so clearly evidenced in us that we will be filled with God and able to rebuke the devil. See, we need to get filled up with the Lord and rebuke the devil. We're not getting filled up enough. God has shown me in the night watches that everything that is not of faith is sin. Romans 14 and 23. I learned this about a year ago. God wants to bring us into harmony with his will. So that we will see, no, nope, hold on, that if we do, let me finish reading, and we'll do it. Put it down. So that we will see if we do not believe all of the word of God, something in us is not purely sanctified to accept the fullness of his word. Many people put their own human wisdom in the place of God, and God is not able to give the best because the human is confronting God in such a way. God is not able to get the best through us until the human will is dissolved. See, the human will. So we have to get our will out of the way and want to be in the will of the Father God. People say, I want things to be tangible. I want something to appeal to my human reasoning. My response is that everything that you cannot see is eternal. Everything you see now will fade away. And will be consumed. But what you cannot see. What is more real than you. Is the substance of all things. God in the human soul. Mightier than you. By a million times. Get Listen to that. I'm going to say it again. God in the human soul. Mightier than you. By a million times. Thought for today. There is nothing we can come short. Of. If the Holy Spirit is the prime mover in our thoughts and lives for he has a plan greater than ours let's read hebrews 11 1 through 10 and there's actually something on my laptop i may load it up here shortly about faith and about the consequences of not believing god there's actually a it's dangerous a punishment so hebrews 11 1 through 10 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. 
By faith, Abel offered unto God a more ex excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. And that right there, remember, if you really think about it, um, Abel's heart was pure Cain. He held back from God. Don't hold back from God. Now, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. God took him with him. But without faith, without faith, listen, verse 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You have to believe that God will reward you for that. You have to believe that he will reward anybody that comes to him. You have to believe God. If you don't believe it, what he, what you're asking, what you've talked to him about, what his word says about him, what makes you think that he should show and prove anything to you? Verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen, as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteous, which is by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith he sauntered in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and mark maker is God. And we're going to go ahead and read verse 11. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful, who had promised. So you're allowed to judge faithfully. And God honored that. Because she, she had faith in the Lord. All these people they lived by faith. We are to live by faith. Not by what we see. Not by what we hear. Nothing tangible will stand in the presence of God. All this will fade away. But God will remain. And you have to believe that he will reward you if you seek him. And you have to believe and what you're asking God. It is absolutely impossible to please God without faith. Everybody that's ever followed God has had to have faith. You have faith to get outside and start your car in the morning. You know it's going to work. That's a form of faith. That's natural faith. Supernatural faith, which is spiritual faith through the Holy Spirit, from God above, through Jesus Christ, is something you cannot see. You didn't see Jesus die on the cross. But you know from what the Word says and what He's put in your heart through the Holy Spirit, your spirit bearing witness with the Holy Spirit, knowing that He did die and take your place, knowing that He rose the third day, knowing that He walked this earth in the flesh. And I get teared up on this because it means so much that Jesus would have done this. When you had that moment, your testimony of sitting and saying, if I don't accept Jesus, if I don't change, I'm going to go to hell. That is a form of faith, realizing that you had to put your trust in Jesus. Nobody made you do it, but you knew that you had to. And um, just got to remember that. That's what it's all about. You either trust God or you don't. Faith is the substance of things not seen, but hoped for. They're hoped for, but they're not seen. And I said it a little backwards because I'm trying to bring out the points of the message to you. Sarah had a baby because she believed. Abel's offering was better because he had faith. Cain's wasn't so much because he was greedy and angry inside. You know, there's a lot of things. But God still loved Cain and he pulled him through. So if you read the Bible, even when the people got punished, God was still with them. Um, so just believe that God is going to still be with us and help us through everything. Quit putting our trust in people. And this is where we failed. We've are so and so is trying to go this, this, and that. Where's the fruit? Where's the evidence? Do they have peace when they speak? Are they, do they have this sense of humor that only God could give them in a trial of a situation? Do they know how to have self-control? And these things, and sometimes our flesh does get in the way, and that's why you have to fast to say, no, 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 flesh. But um, that's where prayer comes in too, because prayer and fasting go hand in hand. And 
there's a book I read recently, and it was called The Power of Prayer and Prophecy. It's a beautiful book, and um, I'll have to give a testimony about several things that happened in 2020. Even with everything happening, I had God blessing me, like that vision I shared yesterday. God blessed me with that, and um, it just... It's amazing. God is still blessing. It may not be a physical, but spiritual, but he did every area. He provided him, and uh, I praise God that he is providing. But I do want to say something, and I want to put a, a link, like an email address in the bottom below. We have anointing oil, and I can make prayer calls with God's help, not on my own, that we can get to you. Um, I don't want you to print your personal information on YouTube, so you can just email me and we can send those out to you. Or if you want some Bibles that have devotionals made in them, this is what this ministry that God has made does. Come to Jesus ministry is not mine. I am his servant, I am his daughter, and I am so grateful that God would use me and my household. Um, I can't do anything without Jesus. I can't do anything without God, without the Holy Spirit. So today, with that being said, we're going to say a prayer for a fresh full of the Holy Spirit. And um, let me grab my oil so that we can do this right. Okay, I got my oil. And like I said, these um, this is mine that I had from a different bottle that I had to refill with war room oil. That's the only oil I give out because I remember I was in a parking lot one day and the Lord said, from its forward, only give war room oil. So... That will be what you're getting, and that is the place of fighting the spiritual battle, praying to God, asking for a fresh fill, and everything. So, we're going to stand in. You can stand in for your husband. You can stand in for your wife. You can stand in for your children. You can stand in for your parents, niece, nephew, you, anybody you want to stand in for right now, and ask God to honor it. And I think that is really, really, really important to do right now because we do not need to be selfish with our prayers. So, I say we stand in for our leaders. I say we stand in for our households. I say we stand in for the loss, for the weak, and find a heart of faith. And Lord, as we begin to speak this right now, what I just said, I ask for you to honor it. And we're going to start. Take a drop of oil on your head. Put it on there. Right. And put on your ears, hands, and your feet. And I'll explain why in just a second. The reason why we do head, ears, hands, and feet. Head for healing from the top of the head to the soles of the feet and the feet and hands for anything you touch anywhere you walk anything you hear that you can only hear God and that you think like God and that you will feel and walk in the ways that he wants so whatever you do will be for him so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start praying and if you want to come in agreement, if not that's fine but I really pray that you will today dear Jesus heavenly father God precious holy spirit we welcome you in we're asking all things that have been hidden in our hearts that have not been of you for it to be removed. We're standing in for believers and unbelievers alike. We're standing in for our families, our households, through blood and marriage and the body of Christ Jesus. We're standing in for our leaders and we're standing in for the lost souls, Father God. We anoint ourselves with the presence of you, Father. And we ask for a fresh fill of the Holy Ghost to fall upon all of your children. Holy Spirit, come. Welcome, Holy Spirit. For everyone we named off, we asked them to get filled. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. I pray, come on, Father God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up. In Jesus' name, amen. I feel the peace of the Lord. We named off everything you can think of. And God will honor that. Let the presence of God saturate your heart, soul, and mind. Let Him take over this. God has got this under control. And praise Him in the storm. Remember when we praise, the prison walls shake. 